Yeah, hey, Josh. Um, Coach Kleiman said he met with you guys. You guys want to play. Just what, what would be your case for playing a football season right now in the fall and what you guys are thinking as players? Um, we're just going to prepare as if we have a game uh, September 12th. And uh, we're not really worried about everything that's going on on the field. It feels like camp. Uh, it's very, very hard. Kind of like last year. Um, doesn't feel like we're wearing masks when we're on the field, but the intensity is great. Um, and that's that's really all it is to it. We're, we're ready to plumb it. Appreciate it, Josh. Thanks. Kels Robinette. How how would you say you guys as players, you know, block out that whole distraction thing? Because I would assume it's got to be at least somewhat, you know, always kind of wonder when you might hear some news, right? Yeah, I try to block everything out. Um, it, it's very easy. Um, you allow distractions to get in, and that's a that's a personal matter. So, I mean, if you want to see everything that's going on, all you got to do is go on Twitter. And if you don't, you just stay off of social media. I'm trying to do um, not feed in and what's going on. See, I don't, I don't know what's what's going on like that. So, I don't know it's by trying to stay off Twitter, uh, all my social media, kind of uh, staying low key, not commenting on anything. So. Um, and That's really just it. looking forward to your own individual season, what kind of goals are you self, not just as a kick return, but a receiver and as a whole player this season? Yeah, well, first off, I want to win every game. But as a receiver, uh, I want at least 1,000 yards receiving, 1,000 yards rushing, and 1,000 yards returning. Those are my goals. Um, but, of course, if none of that happens, if we win every game, that's great. So that's 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 what's going on in my head for his goals, and and what are my aspirations for this season? Glenn. Hey Josh, um, obviously there's a lot to consider here, and it would affect you guys' ways if um, you aren't able to play football this fall. What's one thing that you would miss the most, or that you think would be affected the most if you can't play this fall? One thing that I miss the most is definitely the fans. Um, there's nothing like running out in front of 50 plus thousand people. It's nothing like it. Um, you know, I think we have the best fans in the country. So that would be a bummer, just not being able to see a full crowd, not being able to play in front of a full crowd. But if we have to cut it down to 50% to play, then we got to do what we got to do. You know, but that, that's one thing I miss the most. You know, hopefully we can try to have the game. Uh, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, and then that's, that's, also, that's the biggest thing. That we sorry, and then also, uh, what conversations in the locker room with, with your teammates or with your coaches as far as uh, staying safe and as far as, like, all the uncertainty right now of not knowing when you're going to play? Yeah, um, our medical staff is doing a great job of just informing us on what we need to do to stay safe. So, um, you know, our lockers are spread it out. Um, we have hands. And then, you know, just, they're really informing us on how to protect ourselves so we can't play this year. All right, we'll go Mitchell and then Scott Fritchin. Go ahead, Mitchell. Hey, Josh. Um, what level of fear there on the team that an outbreak could spread again? There's no fear at all. We don't fear anything. So, uh, um, obviously, the, 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 the Big Ten's put out a statement saying that they're going to be moving their season to uh, the spring, and the Pac-12 is expecting to also be trying to move their schedule to the spring. Do you have any friends that are playing in, in the Big Ten, the, the Pac-12, or maybe some of the other conferences that have already had their, their seasons put kind of up in the air? Do you have any friends there, and what, what, what have your conversations been like with them? You have a couple of old teammates that play in the, in the Big Ten. 10, offensive linemen, defensive linemen, the Ohio State and Rutgers. So I've talked to them. They're, they're kind of still in the dark about it, too. I haven't talked to them, uh, like, in the last day or so, but um, talked about it. They didn't know. So 
Yeah, it is. It's, it's crazy times we're living in. You know, nobody really, um, but it, it, we can only control what we can control. So we got to do all the little things right to make sure we do have a. Uh, I know the Big Ten postpone their season to the spring. We don't. We don't know what the Big Twelve is going to do. So we have to prepare like we're playing on uh, September twelfth, wherever, whenever they want. All right, last one, Scott Fritchman. Yeah, Josh, we had uh, talked during the summer just about your development and your goals for the upcoming uh, coach climbing field. How are you feeling and just how hungry are you for your second season? So fast. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this year. Uh, I think it's a great year for my teammates and I. My hunger, my hunger would never, never end and be depleted by success. So I know I had an okay freshman year, but you know, that, that has no bearing on this, on year two. I really think that uh, year two is going to be really special. I feel like I've been, I've matured as a player, starting, you know, being a receiver, I'm starting to get that down. So I think it's going to be a great year if everything goes as planned.